What is up guys? I am out here today with the Tacoma because unfortunately I have to replace my grill. Uh, I was driving home from a trip and a semi had a blowout in front of me and all this tired shrapnel and stuff hit it, drilled the letters. This thing's broken now. There's a big old hole here. That's no good. Um, this thing's kind of beat up anyway, so I think it's time to replace it. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's pretty easy. I went and got a new grill off of Amazon. These things are a dime a dozen. You can find them for like 100, 120 bucks. Um, this one actually came with a set of Raptor lights, I believe. I had actually made my own when I put my grill on about three years ago now when I first bought the truck. It had this really ugly uh, chicken wire grill. grill. Um, so I had immediately replaced it when I first bought it. I don't think I drove around with that chicken wire grill for more than like three days. Um, and I had put my own little Raptor lights in there. I just got these diodes off of Amazon and kind of ghetto rigged it myself um, because they didn't really sell kits for this yet. Um, but now that they do, I might actually hook these new ones up because they look a lot better. Um, they're smoked, so they blend in better. And they actually blend in with that honeycomb. You can stick them right in there, I believe. Um, so yeah, here we go. The grills actually ship without the letters connected to them. Um, I believe this has something to do with customs and copyright and whatever, or patents. Um, they're not really supposed to use the Toyota logo. Um, so they ship all these letters loose. So what I'm gonna do, um, the old ones I had on my thing were silver and it looked okay, um, but I think I'd like to go with white. So I'm actually gonna spray paint these uh, with some white spray paint. Yeah, what we're looking at here. So I've done, like I said, I've done this before um, when I replaced my original grill. It's really not too hard, um, but this entire grill is actually two pieces. You have your your actual thing that hooks up here and then the grill itself is just clipped into this. So this whole thing comes out. Um, you have a couple bolts right there, right there. And then you have these plastic tabs over here. Um, be careful when you're undoing these tabs because they can potentially break. Um, so you want to be real careful when you're doing that. Just use a, um, if you have the tool to take them out, use that. Um, otherwise, just use a flat screwdriver and it should come right out. I don't believe there are any other anchor, oh yeah, there's anchor points way down there. Um, and you can kind of pull those up by hand. They do say you're supposed to, if you have an aftermarket bumper, you're supposed to take that off um, when you do this, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to slide it out without doing that. So if you just go nice and easy on these tabs, they should pop right out just like that. Um, but if you really jam it, you can definitely break that head off, so be careful. Um, if you are the type to just kind of go in and <laughs> start s smashing in there, you might want to get a couple extras of these because you might break them. Also, you want to be sure that you unhook your speed sensor down there, uh, your radar cruise control thing. There's two ways you can do this. Well, really just one way, <laughs> not two ways. These are for my Raptor lights, don't worry about that. This is the thing that you want to unhook. Um, this is what connects it. If you follow that wire, you see it goes there, it goes there, and then goes to your sensor. Um, if you are coming from a stock grill, not the pro style cheese grater grill, um, and your sensor is somewhere up here, you're gonna have to undo that and take it all out. All right, old grill's out. And I unfortunately had to break a couple tabs to get this thing out of there. Um, but you have a million of these, so it's okay if you break a couple, just don't break all of them. Um, and then our next step is going to be to get this plastic part out. So in order to do that, you'll see that we have all these little things in there. And you just push them in, push it in, push it in, and then eventually this thing will come out. Um, also, if you have a speed sensor in the middle of your grill, again, if you're coming from the off-road grill, which I know has it up here in the middle, um, it's just a couple screws that hold it in. So you just unscrew it and then the whole thing comes out. Technique with this, you just kind of push it in and then push it down. And then we'll start to loosen up as you go. Uh, maybe start with the corner because they will actually pop back in. Um, start with the bottom one so you can see that comes out pretty easy. So start with the corner, start pushing. Alrighty, old grill's out. Um, it's kind of a bear, but I got it. Again, you want to remove your speed sensor. Um, and then also, when you are removing this, I forgot to mention this, you see these tabs here. 
those are the tabs you want to go for. There are another set of tabs in here along the bottom. These guys, you can leave those. You don't have to touch them at all. So I just went through these Raptor lights in here. Let's get that in the sun so you can see it. Through the Raptor lights in here, uh, they at first felt like they weren't going to fit. Uh, you just really have to push them in, so, and then they click in. Um, I brought some or bought some Gorilla Glue because I wasn't sure. Um, but they, these ones actually came with little tabs. You can see that they just tab in right there like that. So I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Um, I only used three of them. The kit came with four. Uh, I just like symmetry. So I wanted one in the middle and then one on each side like that. So now depending on what kit you get, you're going to come um, get some different options with it. So this one came with this black shroud that goes in front of your speed sensor. Um, it just goes right in there. It's going to sit there and you attach the speed sensor to it. Your crash sensor, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then this one came with this thing. This is the grill that you're going to put your letters on and then it, it attaches from the back. And then these letters that I got with this kit screw in, um, but I'm not only going to screw them in, I'm also going to throw a little Gorilla Glue on them. It's probably overkill, but that way I don't uh, end up with letters flying off on the highway. Once you get your grill all set up like that, it's reassembly time. So you're just gonna pop it in these tabs right back into your shroud, your surround thing, and then you're good to go. And hook it all back up. So there we have it. She's all done, set back up. Uh, just make sure you ch check all your checklist boxes. Um, when you're putting this all back together, make sure you hook your speed sensor back up. Uh, if you are installing Raptor lights like this kit came with, make sure you hook those up. Um, and I am actually using a quick disconnect clip here. You can see this. Um, that's what I'm gonna hook my Raptor lights to, just in case I ever need to take this wire out. Um, and then just make sure you run everything correctly to the battery. So I also took a zip tie and hooked it up to the Raptor lights here, um, just to keep them from clunking around in there, contacting the radiator, whatever it is. Um, and then I, like it said, did a little quick disconnect clip here. I'm gonna wrap this up in some electrical tape just to keep it from getting wet. And that's about it. This is a pretty simple mod. I just knocked this out in my driveway in under an hour. And if I wasn't talking to YouTube, uh, I probably could have done this a little quicker. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. If you have any questions about the process of how to put a new grill on your Tacoma, I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time, take it easy.